OK, let's have a look at this uh, uh, lovely picture of uh, Cordoba Square in Spain and see if we can see some parabolas. Well, indeed we can. Uh, the fountain, of course, is parabolic. So let's just uh, press Control and then press the A key and then delete so we can start again from scratch. OK, let's open the image and we need to go to Parabola Picks and Cordoba Square. There we are. OK, we'll just double click on that and make it a bit more transparent so we can see the graphs coming through. OK, now we want to have a look at this. It looks like uh, it's been arranged quite nicely that if I just move the picture down to the right a bit, um, it looks like it goes through plus 4 and minus 2, so the parabola would be symmetrical about the y-axis and go through plus 2 as well. Now the equation of that is y equals 4 minus x squared. So let's have a look and see what we get. Enter equation y equals 4 minus xx. And see, now it's moving along here. And uh, we'll just have to wait a minute to see. But while it's doing that, we might look something that's going to be worth exploring. Though it's not parabolic, of course. Uh, let's try see how we're getting on here. Now, does this fit the equation? Look at that. Not bad, eh? So it might be nice to actually look at the startup options for this and do a manual from zero. And so it's now only going to plot the right hand side. And let's draw options. Let's do um, say that and make them a bit thicker. And off we go. So now we're going to get just going over on that side. OK, let's have a look at the uh, vanishing point. Let's put a point here and let's put a point here and now a right click to a straight line on the floor here and a point on the floor here and right click to a straight line. Let's put a point on this little notch here and this little notch there and see what we get. Straight line and that's pretty impressive. I mean it's not absolutely spot on. I uh, will just select that one and move it slightly. You can see that it's uh, quite sensitive to movement. But that principle is, is well established now in, in art history, but there was a time when they didn't know about it, and uh, some paintings were not quite right, but that, that's a nice mathematical way of ensuring that the correct perspective is obtained. Okay.